Grayson's 2012, mostly 2012 CRF 250R. We've been building on it for a minute. This is built out of about two bikes, built into one. It's got some 2010, some 2012 parts. So, we'll go a slow walk around, then we'll explain it. We were going to put a brand new set of plastics on there again for this engine build, but we're going to wait till Christmas and get like a retro 91 looking CR graphics on there. So here we go. Let's start. Soon we're going to replace the pro tapers with fat bars and X trig clamps. That's the very next thing we're going to do. We're just kind of waiting. They're about 650, 700 bucks on the clamp, so I'm gonna get a few rides in. Um, this bike was a pretty clean one when we got it, but it's been completely torn, completely apart. So here is the Dell West titanium valves, JE piston. Um, New Honda crank. There you got your powder coat that is Cerakote look-alike, but it looks really good. I didn't want to do Cerakote because we're going to move on to a 450 before long. Brand new Renthal chain, Renthal sprockets, hammerhead, shifter. Got your plug, your pegs there. The AS3 titaniums. UFO chain guards, Renthal sprockets, of course, and usually DID chains, but you can't get one right now, so we're running a Renthal R1. Nothing wrong with it, I think. If you run Renthal chains and sprockets, why would you run a DID and a Renthal? I don't understand, especially if you run Excel wheels. So, just my personal opinion. But we got the new W wheel set, Excel golds. W titanium hubs got the Galfer tsunami wave and those have just barely been broke in maybe even three or four minutes of ride time yet that's why they look like that got Galfer lines Got the Yosh Titanium. We were lucky to find that hanging on the wall at Oklahoma Honda Suzuki. Been hanging on the wall for years, he said. Brand new. In the bag. The difference is it's for a 2010. And you CRF guys know that a 2010 is a short muffler. We're 2011 up. It sticks out the back a little ways. Well, that changes where it mounts right here. So this is a 2010 subframe under there. Thank you, Marshall Plum and Stillwater. Revalved, resprung completely for Grayson, 110 pounds. Even though he's really only about 100, we allowed for about 10 pounds. Got your hammerhead clevis, hammerhead brake, hammerhead snake. Got a full Henson clutch. Voice and water pump, hammerhead kickstart. These are custom radiators. They are Yoshimura, or excuse me, <laughs> Mishimoto is what they started out. But if you run these and run that pipe, there's a lot of interference. You see that triangle back there? This is a custom radiator, been custom cut, custom re clocking of the fittings. And we've got new plastics and new radiator shrouds. We just have not put them on yet. We're going to wait until these get a little more scuffed up. That's a Sycra plate. These are all UFO plastics. I ran UFO when I was a kid, so I just kind of stuck with it. There are other brands out there that people are going to say are better or worse. It's a nostalgia thing for me. And here we go with the front oversized tsunami caliper 
AS3 clamp. We're running all Maxima fluids this time around. Um, new air filter about every 30 minutes of ride time. We've got a couple of them in a bag ready to go. Next time you see it, it should have the new Fat Bar 36 and X Trig clamps up on there with Renthal grips. These bars are what the bike came with. Normally we run Renthal bars always, but we just decided to run these a while. They're nice, they're high end. We do always use arc breakaways, safety wire. He likes two wires on his grips and he likes soft ones that just wear out quick. Normally we use uh, Kevlar, Matt Red and Renthal Kevlars, but we've just been going through cheap ones. About every three rides we just cut them off of there. You love it, Grayson? Mm -hmm. Yeah, his smile. He doesn't say much, but when he smiles the way he does, you know he loves it. All right, guys, there's guys out there with newer bikes, but we can't afford those, so here's ours. Next time you see it, we'll be tearing up the track.